least, I'm going to show you my beautiful collection of CDs. Starting with the very first one that I bought. I'm black. <laughs> 2009. It's like a single, single album. So it only has three tracks on it, which is Oh Yeah, Good Love, and My Dream. So this... I used to love M Black when they first debuted and that's kind of when I first got into K-pop so they were kind of the, one of the first groups that I really stand. And this is from 2009 so look how simple it used to be. No like photo cards, it's an actual CD in like a CD case which is so rare these days. And then just like a mini photo, it's not even a photo book, I think the book is just like what it what it used to be, like what how CDs used to look 10 years ago. They don't they clearly don't look like this anymore, so it's like so weird seeing it like this. Oh, it's got this cute little Merry Christmas card, all the autographs in the back. Because I think this came out around Christmas. Oh my god, the very first K-pop CD that I bought. The start, the start of it all. This is how it started with M Black. The next one has to be this, Beast, Shock Era, Asia version, because I bought this when I went back to Asia. This one is from 2009, 2010? But yeah, so this one's actually pretty random because I wasn't a huge Beast fan. I'm still not really a huge Beast fan. I like their songs, but I wasn't like a huge fan or anything. This one random summer, I was back in Asia. I think I was at the mall and I saw that Beast was going to be there. I saw a sign that said they were going to do autographs. So I bought the CD, waited in line, and went to get it autographed. <laughs> this was, it's so cool because it was the first time that I saw a K-pop idol like up close and personal and it's the only autographed item that I have for my entire K-pop collection. So that's really cool. Yeah, and this one is so old that it's, it's like a CD. It's just a regular CD. <laughs> With this little CD booklet. I still can't believe CDs used to look like that. And like no photo cards or anything. Like how did we used to live? Okay, next I'm gonna say is this 21 album. This holographic 21 album. It came out in 2010. And it was their first album. So there's a CD. And then an actual like photo book over here. So this is when it started getting photo booky, I think. This is like a photo book, but you can rip out the pages and some of them become become postcards. Like that. 21, the first album to anyone. Uh, and they just celebrated their 10 year anniversary recently. It's giving me a lot of feels. I think the next one is this one, Super Junior. The sixth album, Sexy Free and Single. This is I think my largest, largest CD. I don't know why Super Junior has to always be so extra. So the CD is in the back here, and this is the first photo card I got, I think. And of course there's a real look, my like, not my favorite number. And here it's like a photo album, a large, large photo album of 10, 11 beautiful boys. Yeah. Oh man, this is like taking a stroll down memory lane with all these old CDs. B1A4 Ignition Special Edition 2012. I still love almost every single song on this album. It's great. B1A4 is the best. And look, CDs start becoming less important. It's more important, like the thing that's important are like the, the cards and the photo books. So this one I have Gong Chan, Cutie Magne. And on the top of this is like all the tracks and stuff and lyrics. Very simple. And then it just comes with like this whole box over here. It's all just beautiful like postcard sized pictures of the 24 from like just individual members to groups and like them looking pretty. So many, so many postcards. I've never dared to take one even like out of order because I was so scared I would mess it up. Ooh, gotcha. Yeah. So this is when I started 
bit like kind of losing interest in K-pop a little bit because all of my groups that I love started becoming inactive and I didn't really like a lot of the newer bands but this was definitely my hairy phase when I first fell in love with her this one came out in 2013 this is their first album Female President repackaged this one didn't come with a photo card I don't think it's basically just a cute photo book of them looking pretty I like this one because it has Harry with long hair which is like when I fell in love with her and then it also has Harry with short hair where I also fell in love with her so just just a lot of my wife that I love so much yeah this is great I wish they had put out more stuff that I liked after that so I could have bought more albums but I didn't I usually only like to buy albums if I really like the songs on it I don't just buy it just because they're my favorite group. I have like a huge gap between 2013 then because the next one I bought was the one before Rolling and this one came out in 2017. So I had a huge break between Girls Day and this one. And then it came with this photo card and its sundial. It also came in a sundial poster but he's not really like my favorite member so I'm pretty sure I got it someone else. I usually generally like a lot of U184 songs, so I'm glad I got it. This was like the second to last thing that they put out. Alright, I'm almost at the end. Next would be this, G-Friend, Time for the Moon Knight. I love this song so much, I still do. This mini album, this is their sixth one, and it came out in 2018. <laughs> There were three different versions and I got this version where you can see the, the whole group over here. And I did an unboxing for this last year. So if you want to check out the unboxing, go ahead and check out the video on my channel. It's pretty cool. I got the uh, 17 You Make My Day mini album. And this one came out in 2018. And this is not a CD. So funny, this is their... What is it called? A Kino? So it looks like this. Ta-da! This is the future of CDs apparently. But not really because it uses a headphone jack and iPhones nowadays don't have a headphone jack. I'm sure you can find more videos about it online but you plug it in, you play it, and then you unplug it and you can play it for like a certain period of time. I think that's how it works. It's pretty cool because nowadays no one really has like a CD player. Even my laptop doesn't play CDs anymore so I thought it was a pretty cool idea. And this specific version doesn't actually come with any like member photo cards but it comes with all of these like you get like three different sets of photo cards of the whole group I thought it was pretty cool like and last but not least the newest one that I bought is Eyes One My Girls this one came out in 2018 it is their first album Colorized as you guys know, I'm a huge Eyes One fan. There are two versions. This is the flower, floral, flower version, and then there's another color version. When I bought this in Choice LA, it was like the very last one sitting there, so I grabbed it. So I have one with Yuri, and then one with Yujin and Minju. Then I have this one young. I'm always so scared that I lose my photo cards. I should probably have a better way of organizing them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of my mini K-pop collection that spanned over the course of 10 years. I know I did an unboxings for a couple of the stuff, but if there's anything in particular you want to see a specific unboxing for, let me know in the comments below and I'll work on it. So for now, this is my collection, but I hope that it grows, continues to grow. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite item. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.